What a what a, here we go again, back with some more mystery case files, Ravenhurst. Uh, last time we played, we found out that uh, Emma's having trouble regulating temperature and her, uh, her high temperature are giving her these weird dreams. At least she thinks these high temperatures are giving her weird dreams. She had a dream that she was paralyzed in a wheelchair wearing a wedding dress. And um, she's more so upset about her father because... Well, she hasn't heard anything from her family as of late. So let's continue. See what else happens with Miss Emma. I am the key. Uh, open the cellar last. Let's go to this first floor. Let's go to the parlor. We're looking for a life vest. There it is. Let's see a hammer right there. A camera. Can I glance real fast and find a camera? I cannot. Camera. The calculator's right there. Scrub brush. Scrub brush. Iron. Seashell and a mitt. Mm -hmm. Iron. A seashell. There's iron. A seashell and a mitt. Now we need a camera and a scrub brush. That's a microphone. Hmm. It's like I know what I'm looking for, but I haven't adjusted my eyes to actually look for what it is I'm looking for. Like, I know I'm looking for a scrub brush, but I was just looking around. Wasn't really looking for a scrub brush. I haven't, like, envisioned it or anything. Now that I have, it doesn't seem to be doing much good anyway that's a basket is that the camera yeah a scrub brush thought it would be like right there which it is all right fat enough fat enough let's go back to that kitchen we're looking for a feather it's right there a watering can. Can I find that real quick? Watering can, anybody? Can I get a watering can? A string ball? Telescope? Cheese great. Sorry, I'm, I'm yawning and I'm muting it. But I'm not going to let that stop my progress. Okay. We got... We got Objects to find, pieces of paper to find, a story to unravel. A spade, doorbell, padlock. There's the doorbell, there's the padlock. A spade. Am I looking for a shovel or a card? Hmm. A telescope. Telescope. Uh, is that the string ball? Yeah, it is. Ball of twine. Watering can. Hmm. Ah, that's the watering can. Telescope and a spade. Hmm. Have I, have I found a telescope here? That I am not sure of. I don't think I have, because I think I would remember. If you watched my uh, last Let's Play on... Um, what was it? Prime Suspects? Doing a memory match? Yeah. I can say without an ego. I'm pretty good at that. There it is. Now the spade, on the other hand. Don't you see? I'm looking. Um. These yawns are getting worse. I don't see a spade. Like, I'm looking for a shovel. 
And I'm also looking for like the card. There, there it is. Alright, All right, third floor, we're gonna go into the study. We're gonna look for a pound sign for, for you uh, younger folk that would be a hashtag. Uh, a hand drill, which would be this thing. Binoculars, eraser, reflex mallet, which was right there. A ragdoll, which is over here. A hammer and a hand. A hammer and a hand. Racer, wow. There's the hammer. Like they expect me to find like an eraser. And I found the eraser. There you go. Hand binoculars and a and a pound sign. There's the hand. It's a bloody hand. Looks like he put his hand down the uh, garbage disposal and spike hit the switch. Graphic, huh? That's just what I saw. That's how my mind works. Pound sign and binoculars. Where's the hashtag? Hashtag, hashtag. Hashtag, we're looking for a hashtag, hashtag. There it is. Oh, right. The library, library, the library. Um, we're looking for a tractor, pizza, pepper grinder, avocado. It's an avocado. Thanks. That's an artichoke. A bullhorn's angel. A ticket roll. Walkie talkie. There's the walkie talkie. This says avocados. So there's at least two. Nope. It's well yeah, there are. Excuse me. Oh wow. I'm gonna mute it so you don't hear the phone ringing. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. It's just we don't expect phone calls with the house on the house phone. Not at this time, anyway. So it kind of catches me off when it rings, and it's never anyone important. Pizza bullhorns. Ah. I saw the pizza. Yeah, there it is. The angel. I, I just saw the angel. Why don't you? Yeah. And the ticket roll. I'm assuming that's something like, you know, like raffle tickets. Yeah, carnival, yep. There we go. Now let's go have a look in the pantry. We're going to look for some macaroni, scissors, sushi, noose, french, spatula, moon, and litter. Alright. Moon. Uh, spatula. came in here and just drop sushi like that's still good that's not like all moldy and stuff uh that's creepy um wrench scissors macaroni hey macaroni hi that might be a little too old is that macaroni it's probably macaroni that was macaroni all right scissors Skizzers. Wrench and letter. Like a John Deere letter? Or a Dear John letter? Hmm. Or an alphabetical letter.
All right, now, time to focus. Need a wrench, some scissors, and a letter. Where's the wrench? Come on now, don't be shy. Jump out and say, here I am. Thank you. All right, scissors, it's your turn. Thank you. And now letter. Letter. That was a letter. It's F. All right, letter, jump out and say, here I am. We have stuff to do. No? Are you not gonna? I don't think it is, y'all. Uh, I... There it is, right there. Nope, that's not it. I thought that was it. Excuse me, they're being loud in there. My apologies. I don't know, so let's let's go back to let's solve this puzzle. Oh, it's the light up game. My apologies. All right, so I like to think that I'm good at these because I am. So there's that. Got the green battery. Where's a green battery holder? I see purple. Oh, there it is. All right. Do I gotta do it again to get another? Okay, I guess so. Oh, okay. Well, I'm good with this because I got these all day long. I am very good at the uh, Light It Up game. In fact, I actually programmed a Light It Up um, app back in the day, he says, as he fails. Yep, that's what I get for running my big mouth. I'll put that there, that there, that there, that there, there, there. And I guess I gotta do it one more, t or is that it? No, I need this one. So I need this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. Is that all the puzzle was? Oh, well. Oh man. Gotta play Pong. This man really made a lock to where you had to play Pong. Like, if this was like in real life and had a stick, it would be a lot easier. God, I better not mess up with only one more. That was kind of creepy. Oh. Then the racing game here. We played games like this back on Atari. Back when I was... That was actually my first game system was an Atari. We played Frogger. Ah, oh, come on. Played Frogger. Chopper Command. Stampede. Ah! Oh, I'm really close to turning down the DPI settings on my mouse for this. Well, if I have to keep on with this stuff, I won't be leaving. I'll be stuck here forever. Alright. That's creepy. One more. Oh, okay. I don't want the hearts. Do 
don't want the hearts. Sorry, I'm not really good at talking while doing this. Don't want the hearts. There we go. And there's the key. Can I open the door now. Jeez. I mean, it wasn't hard. It was just not. I wasn't expecting it. I like totally forgot all about that one. And now we gotta find a bottle, teddy bear, doll, wooden giraffe. I know it says giraffe. Paintbrush, ancient mask, lock, and a wrench. All right. <laughs> Bend a bomb. Anyway, um, life is better with a panda. Just so you know. That's right. Representing my kind out there. I don't know what that means. Just let it go. Act like I didn't say it. Um, Alright, this is a new place. I'm not saying anything. Let's back it up. Is that not a teddy bear? No, it's a panda bear. You just said that. But it could count as a teddy. There's a doll. Alright, paintbrush. There's a paintbrush. <clears throat> Ancient mask. If you say so. Um, lock wrench, a wooden giraffe. Did you see? The giraffe is right there. Um, teddy bear bottle. Is that not a bottle? No, it's a jug. There's a bottle. A wrench. There's a lock. I think that's all I need. We're good. All right. Oh, buddy. Emma is looking rough. And not like herself. Yet again. I swear. She's forever changing. They see me rolling. Sorry, that song is stuck in my head. Not quite sure why. I feel like she just sneeze on something. I guess this is the first glimpse we get of the, the housemaid that they were talking, or uh, nursemaid that they were talking about hiring. Hmm. She looks nice enough, but. She has this little smirk going on. Like she done done something to that tea. Y'all know what I mean? Or is it just me? Is it just me? Because, I mean, she has that face like, Here you go, love. Now die. And again, it could be just me. I mean, I have... I don't always have the best sense of, you know... That so looks like I've done something to your team. Sorry, it does. That's that's uh vindictiveness at its finest. Yes. I know these things. They're a little hunchback. Not that there's anything wrong with hunchbacks, don't be offended, don't be triggered. Right. Entry 14, July 14th, 1895. Welcome company. Today brought the arrival of a nurse named Rose Somerset. That's where I was getting Rose from. Sorry about that. Her name's Emma Ravenhurst. This is Rose Somerset. Charles insists on using the old term matron. Excuse me. Charles insists on using the old term matron, but I prefer to think that she is more of a maid who will be checking my health in addition to keeping up the house. Regardless of the titulature, or titular, titular, I like, I'm gonna stick with what I said. That sounds formalities. <laughs> I am very pleased and excited for Rose's company. Charles is still very distracted, although I have not, I have not idea, I have not 
idea as to who, okay. I do not have an idea as to what he does with his time these days. Hmm. But now I can spend time with this kind woman. She might just bring a bit of light into my life, which has been lacking as my health has declined. Dwindled. Chicken scratch. As my life, as my health has dwindled. Hold on. My affliction has made it difficult to move about, so I am now confined to do so with the help of a wheelchair. Alright, so, um... They have a matron. Or housemaid. I think matron actually sounds better than maid, but that's just my opinion. Again, not trying to trigger any maids, housekeepers, or matrons out there. But, um... Emma's not doing so well. Charles is still being weird. and But now there's Rose, who may bring some light to Emma's life. We'll find out next time if she does when we look for entry number 15. Until then, deuces gooses.